All right, we've just had a lesson on DNA and how DNA has complementary strands, and we talked about how DNA has A's and T's and C's and G's, and if you practice the last, last activity, you actually went through the complementary strands with each. Well, today in this lesson, we're going to talk about DNA and how it works. And so just a quick reminder, I think we've mentioned this, that the human cell has 46 chromosomes. Now those 46 chromosomes contain all the DNA that make up you. You have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Those 23 pairs of each of those pairs, half came from your mom, half came from your dad, tells everything about you. But the problem with DNA for a long time was we understood there were chromosomes, but the DNA that were a bunch of A's, T's, C's, and G's was a secret code that we didn't know what it meant for a really long time. So we're going to talk about how does the DNA work in the cell and how does it make the cell do what we need it to do. Quick note, all of the cells in your body have exactly the same DNA. And that means that the cell on the end of your toe has exactly the same chromosomes as the one on the end of your nose. But different chromosomes are turned on and turned off. And so how do you know what the chromosomes do to make the cell work? Well, that's where we're going to start today. What we're going to talk about specifically is what is called transcription. Now, we'll call it DNA transcription. DNA transcription is a difficult topic, and I'm going to give it to you as easy as I know how to do it. And so you may have to watch this video a couple of times to get it, but it's called transcription. And here's how it works. We're going to have a piece of DNA, just like we did in the last session. And let's say that it is T-A-C-G-G-C-T-C-C-G-G. It's secret code. I don't know what it means, and it still has A's, T's, and C's, and G's in it, but it's, we don't know what it is. As a matter of fact, this is probably not long enough to be a full chromosome. It's probably not even long enough to be even one gene on the chromosome, but we're just playing with these nucleotides that are here. Now, what we're going to do first in transcription is we're going to make a piece of what is called messenger RNA. Messenger RNA. Now, this is a little bit different. You'll notice that this one says DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, and this one is RNA, just ribonucleic acid. The rules are a little bit different here. In RNA, whenever you have an A, you're going to attach it to a U. You will notice there are no U's in DNA. In RNA, there's a new character called uracil. Just the letter U is all you need to know. So we'll practice that here in just a second. But let's see if we can make a little sense out of this and why it does this. Quick example from history. If you know much about the colonial times, uh, when George Washington was president of the United States, he was also the commanding general of the army. And whenever we were fighting the British, they didn't have cell phones or radios, so the communication was very limited. And so he had a master plan. That's what DNA is. He had a master plan of how he was going to fight the war. And so what he would have to do is he would have to take part of that master plan, make a secret message, give it to a messenger, and send it out to the battle lines. And when it got there, the general would open it that was there, and he would know exactly what the master plan had for him to do. And that's what's going to happen here. The messenger is going to carry part of the DNA, and it's going to be in secret code. So let's see if we can figure out the secret code. Remembering, A's go with U's. T goes with A, A goes with U, that's the new rule, C goes with G, G goes with C, G goes with C, C goes with G, T goes with A, C goes with G, C goes with G, C goes with G again, G goes with C, and G goes with C. Here's our secret message. Now we don't know what it means, but eventually what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of secret code and we're going to send it out to a different part of the cell. More specifically, the ribosomes. And we're going to take that secret message and figure out what it's telling the cell how to do. But what we have at this point is the secret message. This is called DNA transcription. The master plan being put into secret message that will be sent in the cell and tell the cell exactly how to work.